So obviously we've got a foot there that can be moved and changed to elevate the front and I assume you can also put a tripod in there. No, there's a tripod mount just there. A small tripod mount, not the larger ones. Um, cover, usually there. Okay, on the front you normally have a focus ring. That's your focus ring. And also you've got your, your um, shift there. When the uh, when you sort of got a, a tightly offset image, you can use that uh, that there. I've got its name. Okay. Um, what have we got here? SD card slot, AV cable for your other forms of television, headphone socket where you can also apply speakers to, um, one HDMI input. Two USBs. On the back, you've got your receiver for the infrared for the remote control, VGA cable, power socket, and that's your lot. That's the thing. Oh, and on top, you also have your uh, your touch sensitive controls, inputs, return, left, right, up, and down, OK, and the power button. That's it. So that's what you get when you first turn on. I've got nothing plugged in at the moment, but you've obviously it's going to be able to look for movies, music, uh, photos, and text and ebooks, I guess. There's nothing plugged in at the moment. You can use the remote control then to go to your menu system, where you've obviously got the different settings for picture, color temperature, aspect ratios, the usual things you would get, including projection mode. Or you can reverse it, turn it upside down and reverse it. That's quite useful if you wanted to um, see the mount your projector. Okay, um, then you've got sound control. At the moment, I haven't put any extra speakers on at the moment. I'll listen to that in a minute. Um, but when you put other speakers on, you'll, you'll, you'll notice a huge difference. Um, obviously, you can set the time and the clock. Obviously, that's only going to be any use if you put it plugged in permanently. If you're just running it on a mobile, it's not going to be any use to you. And options, you've got your software update. Obviously, you'll need to download that, I would think, online and put it onto a USB pen drive before you do it. Restoring factory defaults, uh, on-screen language, choice of languages, color ranges, and the on-screen on display duration. So there's your main settings. The remote control is nice and simple, quite clear. I'm just going to go back to this screen for now. And I'm going to plug in a one terabyte hard drive to see if I can access the files. Oh, the screen image is lovely, lovely and clear. The sound is coming from the internal speakers, which obviously is not brilliant. It's all right for a small room or a bedroom, perhaps, or plugging your headphones in. But if you're wanting to actually have a, a family night, you're going to need some speakers, and I'll put some speakers on in a minute. I can fast forward a bit. I can fast forward to Paddington up to 16, 16 speed I can go to. Here we go. And I'll just go back to play. expecting too much. Well, that's a quality sound. And finally, finally it should be able to look at photos that I've got stored on my hard drive. There is a picture of my old dog, Archie. There you are. Nice picture clarity and you can get it to play a slideshow if you want to. Okay, so picture clarity is excellent. So now uh, we'll play a piece of music. I've got some music stored on the hard drive as well. We'll see how it sounds through the speakers that I've got plugged in to the um, headphone port. They're not particularly big speakers, um, but they're, they're reasonable for a small room. And there you can hear the sounds. Pretty good quality. Very good quality. 
and nice and loud. And these are only small little two inch square speakers. So I'm playing Paddington now from the hard drive. Um, start to begin. You get the option if you've already played it. The image quality is superb, I must confess. Very impressed with that. You can also fast forward. You can go two speed, four speed, eight and 16 and that's handling it really well from the hard drive and then back to play and yeah the quality of the image is brilliant really nice so there's a, a key on the remote control which lets you select your input source and at the moment my source is selected to usb you can choose you can choose the sd card um, av i want to go to the hdmi sorry I press the button i'm going to go to the hdmi because i've plugged in uh, Amazon Fire TV and I'm going to see how well it works with an Amazon Fire TV. So that's the Amazon Fire TV fired up which is always good. So I'm using the Amazon um, Fire TV box at the moment. I'm watching a movie that I've paid for and got stored just to see that it streams alright. This is HD, it's streaming, it seems to be working nicely. It is an old film, hence that. I'll just give it a fast forward. See how we go. Yeah, still need to go a bit further board. Right, let's see how far we are now. So this is 1080. Uh, that's Butch Cassidy of the Sunbelts kid streaming from my Amazon Fire TV box through the HDMI cable and a couple of little speakers plugged in as well. And yeah, I can see that. See the quality is really nice. Perfect. Excellent. Very happy with that.